Greetings, everybody. Yeah, I'm sick. It's been uh, about three years since I've been sick, but I'm sick. But not only that, I'm having issues with my computer. Uh, the computer is five years old. The battery is seems to appears to be dying. It doesn't seem to want to charge. You know, five year old battery. Yeah. So. I bought a new battery, but I just got to take a day off and go to the computer place and have them uh, install it. I don't want to play with it and uh, have them clean out the computer and all that good stuff. Uh, it's been, I'll be on the computer and then all of a sudden it'll just shut off. Boom. I would sure hate to have an hour's worth of Bible study and then it just shuts off and then I lose the the audio, the Bible study. So that's why I haven't been doing much the last few days. Um, I've been thinking about doing, uh, reading a book called The Bible as History. It was from an author called Werner Keller. He was a German. I think he was an archaeologist. I'm not sure exactly. But... Um, Every time they dig in the Middle East, they find more proof for the Bible. They find stone tablets with names of Bible characters in them. Um, the Hittite Empire, uh, Esau, who God said he hated, married two Hittite women, and they were a major branch of the Canaanites, for years, for many years, um, skeptics said, well, there's no proof that the uh, Hittite Empire ever existed. So the Bible's a lie. They just make this stuff up, they were saying. Well, guess what? They were digging in an area and found some of the enemies of the Hittite Empire who had mentioned them in their stone uh, tablet writing things. And then they actually found uh, Hittite cities. And guess what? On the walls where they had the artwork, uh, guess what their noses looked like? Hmm. Yeah, they were very, very prominent noses. You know what they say, the nose knows, right? Yeah. Yeah, evidently that was one of their features. So... It's very, I, it's, I read this book, oh, I don't know, back in probably 90, because I was reading, boy, when I, when I came back to the Lord, well, for, in, in, when I was in what grade? Eighth grade, uh, parents pulled me out of public school and sent me to private school, and it was a Baptist church school and uh, I actually believed and then when I got to high school I threw it away I wonder if that had anything to do with the uh, pastor collected uh, money I mean he had us going around you know selling I don't know candy or whatever uh, collecting money for a missionary overseas missionary and the next thing you know he buys a one of the two most expensive Cadillacs and let me tell you something if you wanted to the most expensive car in the US, USA made, you bought a Cadillac. And there was two models. Uh, one was an El Dorado, and I re don't remember what the other one was. But uh, absolutely a beautiful car. Beautiful. I mean, if you wanted to go above that for luxury, you had to buy a Mercedes or something. And, uh, you know, when I saw that kind of stuff, it didn't, it didn't exactly sit well with me. You know, but uh, yeah, I was like, well, there's the missionary money. Bought a car. Um, so yeah, uh, some of the contents in this book is chapter three, digging up the flood. Um, chapter four, a flood story from old Babylonia. Um, chapter six, the long journey to Canaan. Uh, Joseph in Egypt. 400 years of silence, forced labor and Ramses, 
Um, on the road to Sinai, at the mountains of Moses, under desert skies, on the threshold of the promised land, Israel invades uh, Deborah and Gideon. And if you don't know who Deborah was, she was a judge and a prophetess. You can read about her in the book of Judges. Um, under the yoke of the Philistines. Let's see, I'm just skipping through a few. David, a great king, Solomon, the copper king. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the religions of Canaan. The last days of Judah. Uh, let's see. Education through the exile. Cyrus, king of Persia. Under Greek influence. You know, Alexander the Great, perhaps you've heard of the uh, Egyptian city called Alexandria. That was named for him. Uh, Egypt was under the control of Greece for a while until Rome arose and uh, basically conquered them. So, yeah. You know, it's very, very, I think it's, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I, I find it interesting. Um, but the, uh, uh, a lot of people don't know it, but Cleopatra of Egypt was Greek or Macedonian. Macedonians and Greeks, if you talk to the Jesuits, they'll tell you the Macedonians are not Greek, but they look like Greeks. They speak the Greek language and they're neighbors to Greece. But they're not Greeks, if you're a, a, uh, a Jesuit. But if you talk to the Greeks, they're Greek. So, yeah. You know, it's sort of like, uh, you know, you live in Florida and Georgia. Uh, speak the same language, you know. Of course, you got a lot of New Yorkers down here in Florida. So a lot of people in Georgia would say, yeah, Florida is a foreign country. But uh, especially South Florida. Yeah, it's got uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it, this is really, uh, let's see, let me look up. Copyright was 1956. So actually, if I did read this book, I'm four years from this, the copyright um, Expiring. I don't know. So, yeah, 1956. Very interesting um, book. Oh, I didn't know it. Uh, they say General Titus with 80,000 Roman soldiers attacked Jerusalem 70 AD. Yeah, can you imagine that? 70, uh, 80,000 Roman soldiers. You know, the Jews were, you know, like uh, the people that had cru Jesus crucified. Uh, they were trying to hold them off and they thought they could take and keep Jerusalem. But you're talking battle-hardened soldiers against a bunch of religious zealots. And uh, they were wiped out. I mean, the temple was absolutely destroyed in 70 AD. So, but yeah, it's it's got a lot of history, a lot of archaeology. Uh, it's got illustrations. Maybe I will read it. I don't know. You know, a book from the 50s, I, I don't think anybody's going to complain too much about uh, copyright infringement. I don't know. Besides, I don't have anything to take. <laughs> so, but yeah, computer's been uh, just turning off. I mean, I'd be in the middle of an email and it just shuts off. I, I guess it's the battery dying. But, um, and plus I've been sick. Uh, got sick really last, like probably this morning, last night. Not fun. <laughs> Hadn't been sick in probably three years. So do me a favor. Keep me in prayers, people. You know, 
Like I say, I never wanted this job, being a Bible teacher. I never wanted this job. You know, I like being a student, but to be a teacher, I didn't ask for this job. You know, there's so few, there's so few te uh, true teachers and pastors. I, I think I can count on one hand uh, the number of pastors and teachers that I actually would trust. Very, very few. Very few. And I'm, you all know that. You know that. It's just a shame that, uh, well, the Lord said um, deception in the last days and uh, the great falling away from the faith. Uh, it's, yeah. And all the Bible curses are coming upon our lands. All the Bible curses. And one day, it's going to come to a head. One day Satan's going to say, oh yeah, let me destroy these people and they'll curse you to your face, God. And God will say, okay, go ahead. I don't care anymore. They don't want me for a king. They can have you for a king, Satan, devil, Lucifer, whatever title. Yeah. All righty. Uh, just so you know why I haven't been doing much uh, lately. Um, I think I've slept probably 20, 21 hours out of the last 24. Ugh, what a mess. Alrighty, take care. Friday the 13th. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.